Good morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome to DigiCode Productions. My name is Sean. Now, um, something very interesting washed across the web over the weekend. Um, find it terribly interesting. Um, this is all about converting CO2 to methanol. Um, not something that has been possible to do up till now. But you can clearly see the uses uh, for such a thing, the amount of uh, extra CO2 that we currently have in our atmosphere uh, is of course causing us some considerable difficulty. Um, it's not to mention the temperature problems and the day after tomorrow scenario. So, um, this is the United States Department of Energy's research. Um, that they just released last week. The New York Department of Energy's Brookhaven National Laboratory is where this is coming from. Um, now, if you consider where we are now, i.e. atmospheric temperatures have risen by one to two degrees in the last hundred years. Apparently, in the next 25 years, they could rise by another one to two degrees. And this is all because of CO2 levels. Now, you'll see from the sea behind me, <laughs> that is the result of CO2 levels. And if they were to rise, raise the temperature by another one or two degrees, the sea would engulf where we're standing um, and far beyond that. So the consequences are really quite serious. So this research, what they've discovered, is by using a catalyst, which is made up of copper, zinc oxide, and aluminium oxide, um, this will convert pure CO2 to something very useful, methanol, that we can actually put back in the tanks of the cars that are burning the petrol creating the CO2 in the first place. So it's a nice circle. And of course, methanol can then be used to power the cars, which emit, f using methanol, you'll emit far less CO2. So it's a very good thing. And uh, it's a very neat solution. I hope it catches on and everyone's driving around in methanol-powered cars across the world quite soon, just like they are in most of Brazil at the moment. Thank you very much.